how did we get here? was the question circulating the world after British Petroleum-operated Deepwater Horizon drilling rig exploded in the Gulf of Mexico on April 20th, 2010, killing 11 workers and leaving a gaping hole in the earth. This released an estimated 210 million gallons of oil into the Gulf, causing inestimable devastation on the wildlife and habitats in that part of the world and beyond. Considered one of the most destructive environmental disasters in American history, the Deepwater Horizon oil spill has once again exposed the lengths that the American corporate, scientific, and government leaders are willing to go in order to protect the oil industry and value money over life and the well-being of our Earth. Today we will explore an artistic response to this environmental crime, Rig Wreck, which was one of three new compositions in the 2013 collaborative project named The Gulf Between You and Me. The director of choral ensembles at the Beanin School of Music, Dr. Donald Nally, commissioned and artistically directed this eco-inspired concert series. So I not only have had access to the mind of this project, but I got the chance to prepare and sing Rig Rec with Dr. Nally's professional choir, The Crossing, during their Northwestern residency in 2018. In the following, I hope to share some insights on this important work of art that intervenes with mainstream eco-messaging by directing attention to our culture's problematic worship of money and calling for humanity to unite and together listen to our crying world. From the chaotic 20-second excerpt that I played for you at the beginning of this presentation, you may also be asking yourself, how did we get here? And in order to answer this question, we must return to fin de siècle France, wherein the poet Stéphane Mallarmé composed a work that would revolutionize the world. Mallarmé, a leading figure in the French symbolist movement, was part of a group of writers called the Decadence, whose work often experimented with extreme symbolism and poetic form, mostly focusing on the decline of moral society through the destructive indulgence and luxury. In 1894, Mallarmé published the poem, A Throw of the Dice Will Never Abolish Chance, whose central imagery is a shipwreck, which for Mallarmé was the ultimate symbol of humanity's failure to order and control the overpowering randomness of nature. On the slide, I featured an excerpt showing this poem's format, which novelly broke free from traditional typological formatting to further evoke this notion of natural randomness and the futility of human systems of order. Many literary historians claim this poem's formatting ushered the world of Western art into the modern era, which was characterized by pervasive skepticism, a pessimistic view of the universe as chaotic, and the rejection of traditional values and epistemological systems. Pierre Joris composed the words for Rig Rec, taking influence from Mallarmé's A Throw of the Dice. Adopting a similar structuralist typological format, including direct quotes of Mallarmé and also featuring the central image of a shipwreck, Joris applied all of Mallarmé's implications of declining moral society, dangerous indulgence in money, and epistemological skepticism to the BP oil spill. This is facilitated by the title Rig Wreck, which refers both to the broken rigging of a symbolic ship and the Deepwater Horizon oil rig itself. With a throw of the dice being somewhat of a rupture point in the history of Western art, Jarice's allusion to Mallarmé is particularly evocative of the exploding drilling rig, both as a physical rupture but also a conceptual rupture from the notion of scientific order. Through Jarice's skeptical implications, science has become the demonstration of human arrogance over nature, primarily serving as a rhetorical system of quote-unquote absolute truths that is used to enable immoral capitalistic growth and ultimately distract those not in power from the possible realities of love, human connectedness, and our existence within a beautifully random nature. This theme is brought out by the title of the larger commission and an image that Joris recycles throughout his poetry, the gulf between you and me, to refer to the devastation of the Gulf of Mexico, but also the division in humanity and culture of individuality that eco-messaging and capitalism has conditioned us to follow. 
Gabriel Jackson musically evokes Teresa's poetic implications through his musical setting, composing varied melodic fragments that are layered on top of one another, seemingly without any order, especially on the word science. This is contrasted when, for the first time, the choir sings together in a rich, expansive, and decorated harmony that emphasizes the word love. Now, let's take a listen to the first part of Regrec, performed in the Galvin Recital Hall of Beenan's Ryan Center for Musical Arts about two years ago. If you look, you can find yours truly in the back row middle. As the piece continues, both the poetry and the music convey this sense of building tension to the point of near explosion. This tension is cultivated often in the contrast between money and love, for example, juxtaposing Indra's net of love, an image common to Buddhist traditions signifying the interconnectedness of the universe, and money's net of stone. Instead of focusing our love towards nature or toward one another to come together and fix our impending self-created ecological doom, Therese writes that the insatiable love for money was the cause of the BP oil spill and will be the cause of the ultimate destruction of the earth. Jackson complements this text with rattling music that features increasing rhythmic rapidity in the delivery of words, uncomfortable harmonic dissonance, and most notably heightened dynamics or volume for the singers. Throughout the course of Rig Rec, the speaker becomes increasingly agitated and, as we just saw, continues to angrily blame British petroleum and capitalist culture for the divided and dismal state of the world, defaming them with names listed here. Notably, Moloch is a deity from Canaanite mythology that sacrifices his young devotees by fire, much as corporations like BP are bringing about the demise of their devoted consumers. In its final measures, Rigrec musically depicts the explosive rage of the speaker, of course mirroring the explosion of the BP oil rig. This part of the piece feels almost like a highly organized protest chant, where the singers are quite literally defaming British petroleum and screaming abolish to bring the attention of the audience to the crying world. I believe that this is a very effective media intervention, as it does not wish to affirm mainstream ideas, but rather challenges audience to problematize societal structures that enable the destruction of the earth, often for profit. By experiencing the screaming and protest effect of the music, Rigrec demands its audience to consider the urgency of climate change and the issue of our disunity. Considering the words of Marshall McLuhan, the medium of choral music communicates the message of individuals uniting under a common cause. The music itself is incredibly powerful, but also incredibly difficult. 
This is not a piece that any choral ensemble would easily be able to reproduce, and to this day, Rig Rec has only been performed a handful of times, often for audiences of predominantly privileged backgrounds. The accessibility of Rig Rec, both for singers and audiences, is clearly the piece's greatest limitation in terms of the width of its impact and possibility of going viral or bringing about a true difference. Nonetheless, I think that attempts to simplify it or make it familiar to singers and audiences would detract from its artistic power and its protesting effect. So while this piece may not immediately bring about a large-scale true difference, it undoubtedly has the ability to bring about a profound impact on the few that are fortunate enough to perform it or witness it. Rather than changing rig rec, perhaps we could encourage cultural change that appreciates and supports the creation of complex art like this that is meant to challenge our thoughts. In the words of Dr. Nally, a piece of music should change us. If, in a performance, we have only affirmed our morality, then either the piece of music has failed or we have. I would like to conclude by sharing a moment in this piece that has changed me, again returning to this theme of the gulf between you and me. Echoing the words of Joris, what we know is you and I have to mix. What we know.